Hi there, my name is Michael Robertson. I am here today to provide a very quick tutorial video on some of the features in Canvas that are specific to room parents at Prisk. Um, my son is a student in Ms. Cash's kindergarten class and my wife is the room parent uh, in that class. And I also teach at Long Beach City College and I've been using Canvas for a while. So I wanted to share a few tips that might be helpful to those of you in that room parent role. So here we go. Uh, when you log into Canvas, you will be automatically taken to your dashboard. You might have one class like this. Uh, if you have more than one child across multiple classes, you will have more courses here. And just to clarify, this is the parent canvas, not the student canvas. Okay, so those are two different logins. Uh, this is the parent view. So in the parent canvas, the first thing I want to show you are some of the basic account settings. And to modify those, we're going to refer to this blue section here, which is called the global navigation. And at the very top is an account icon. We'll click on that. And there are various options here. Uh, the first thing we're going to focus on are the settings. So we click on settings. There's kind of a lot to look at here, but only a few things we need to pay attention to. Uh, first of all, if, if you so choose, you can click on this pencil icon and upload a picture of yourself if, if you'd like. Um, also, we want to make sure that the email address listed here is something current. And if you wish to update that or add multiple email addresses, we just click this button here to add an email address and you can um, do that here. Also, if you would like to receive text message notifications uh, on the big announcements from your child's class, then you can add contact method here on the bottom and you can enter in your cell phone number and will be pushed to your cell phone uh, as a text message. So that might be helpful as well. The final thing I want to show on this settings page is uh, actually how to sync to a student account. Or uh, in other words, we are observers in our students' classes, and we have to do one quick step um, so that we can observe them in the course. It's over here on the left-hand side. See this button for observing? We're going to click on that button. And it will probably already have your child's name there. Uh, but let's say there needs to be another student added to your list of observing. So what we do there is we need to find the student pairing code. And in order to locate that, we actually need to go into the student Canvas account. So again, this is the parent account. We need to switch over to the student account. And when we do that, for example, right here, the process is very similar. So this is the child's account. I'm gonna click on account, and I'm gonna click on settings. And then look here on the right-hand side, there's this option to pair with observer. When you click on that button, there is a code that appears. We simply select it, copy that code, we hop on back to our parent account, and then we paste it in. And then we would click add student, and then the student would be added um, to our observing list. Okay, so that's how you go about that process. The last thing in accounts I'd like to share with you is setting up the notifications right here at the top. This is something that you will probably want to encourage parents in your class to check on if they have not done so already. Uh, first of all, making sure that this email is current. We already showed how to update that. But secondly is namely for the announcement. These are the big announcements that might get pushed out by the teacher or perhaps uh, by you as the room parent. And so we want to make sure that this bell next to that one is shaded green uh, to symbolize that they will be notified immediately. So as soon as that announcement uh, is made on Canvas, that means it will also be pushed to this email address immediately without a delay. Um, so make sure 
that for yourself and encourage uh, you, the parents in your class that this is set to green. Okay, so with that being said, there are more notification settings to think about, but those are the basics for today. I wanna hop into a Canvas account and show you a few of the communication and engagement tools. So to do that, I'm gonna click back to my dashboard in the global navigation. And I'm gonna go ahead and enter this class, my son's class. So here's the neat thing. As room parents, you are eligible to create announcements of your own. Uh, again, I encourage you all to collaborate with your child's teacher about these announcements and uh, also see what sort of announcements are the best way to support them and support their work and so on. Um, to do that, we're going to use the classroom navigation right here where it says announcements. We'll click on that. And here is a list of all the announcements that have been made so far. If you want to create something new, we'll come up here to the top right and click plus announcement or add announcement. Once we click on that, you really have two text boxes, one for a title and one for the message. And this is just a simple field, the type and so on and so forth. Um, but you can also add videos. You can also add images. You can organize these in any way that makes sense on what message you are trying to convey. So let me show you an example of how to embed an image and how to embed a video. Uh, so if you want to put a picture into an announcement, let, you know, let's say you have your, uh, your basic title there, and then you want to put a picture right below it. We're gonna go ahead and click on this image right here. It looks like a mountain range. And that's to embed an image. And once you click on that, you have a few options here. We're gonna focus on Canvas. And I'll say my files. And then I'm going to now upload a file that I already have on my computer. So I'm gonna click this button and then my computer pulls up the files that are available. And I'm just gonna go ahead for an example, upload this nice picture of Prisk. Click open. Uh, one thing I always try and do is make sure that I have something descriptive. In the title or in the, uh, in the label for that image. And you can change the dimensions. If you want a little bigger, a little smaller, I'm just gonna leave it as is. And then we click update. Okay, great. So there's our picture. Uh, it's right there front and center. And that's, um, that's one way to do that. Now let's say below that picture, I wish to put in a video, uh, maybe something to do with rocket run, because why not? So below that picture, I'm going to give myself a little bit of space by clicking enter or return. Um, I'm going to make sure that I have my video already queued up. So let, let's say something off of YouTube. I'm going to shift over to YouTube. Uh, this is a rocket run video from just a couple of weeks ago. And the great thing about YouTube videos, they're super easy to share in a Canvas announcement. We're going to, on the video, click this share button. And then I'm gonna click embed. Okay, and so now we've got this big old garbledy goop code, uh, but I'm just gonna manage that. I'm gonna copy that. And then I'm gonna hop back over to my announcement. And right here where I have my cursor, I'm going to click this button. I'm going to make that bigger right here to insert or embed media. So once I click on that, the middle option says embed, just like the embed we saw on YouTube a moment ago. I'm going to click on embed, click in this box, and then paste that all garbled up code. Click OK. And now look, we have a nice video right within the announcement. 
And when I click play or when a parent or even a child clicks play, this will play within the announcement as opposed to uh, taking them out of Canvas and onto YouTube. Okay, it's all within here. So that's how you go about that. Um, so as we scroll on down in this announcement, you can certainly upload a file attachment if you need to, uh, maybe a document or some sort of flyer. That's absolutely uh, you know, wonderful. You just click choose file. And again, you select what you'd like off of your computer. And then for options, uh, here's something really handy. The first one says delay posting. So, so let's say I'm, I'm posting or I'm writing this announcement on a Friday, but maybe I don't want it to go out until a Sunday. So I click delay posting and I just choose when I want it to post. Uh, maybe I want it to post, you know, in a week. And you can even choose the time, you know, if you want uh, 7 a.m., you'll click done, okay? And then also, you'll probably want to make sure that this box is checked too. I'll make that larger to allow users to comment. Um, so that way, if somebody has a question or wants to add something to your announcement, they can do so uh, immediately below. And you, you can even allow liking. If you want folks to be able to give a, a thumbs up to your announcement, you can check that box. But again, that's, that's entirely up to you. So whenever you are done, whenever you are all set with this announcement, what you do is you will click save. Okay, and again, this is just a sample, but this is how it would look on the student and parent side of things. You'll notice here, this, um, it will say, this content of this announcement is not visible until November 22nd, just because we did set that delay. Okay, so that is a great way to communicate with parents, uh, even with students and so on within your class. Let's show a second way. So I'm going to go back home to my course just so we start from the home page. And a second way to facilitate communication within a class is by using the discussions feature. So if you go ahead and click on discussions. Uh, there might be something here already. It might be empty. It depends on what's been done so far. And either way, it's fine. But just to give you some examples, uh, we have collaborated with uh, our child's teacher, Ms. Cash, about creating a questions forum in the class. So we click on that. And then we click edit. Okay, so this looks a lot like the announcement that we were just creating. And that's the good news. It's the exact same process. It's the exact same process for adding a, an image, for typing in some text, so on and so forth. We added this image that we just found off of Google. Okay, so, and then of course the notifications, or excuse me, the various options are the same as an announcement. Uh, allow threaded replies, allows users to reply to an individual within a discussion forum, allowing liking, you know, allows those thumbs up at the bottom, and so on and so forth. Um, so once you are done, here's something important to keep in mind. Um, you can make a discussion available within a certain time range. So let's say I want this discussion to be available today, uh, but then I want it to be unavailable past you know, a week. So we'll just set up a date range. And then after this time, after November 22nd, the discussion will be visible, but people will not be able to post. They'll just be able to see what was already posted. Okay, so that's one thing to keep in mind. Uh, secondly, saving we'll save the work that we've done in here. And that's always save it, back it up just to be safe. However, it will not be available or it will not be visible to people in the class until we click save and publish. So, so that's the key, it has to be published. So, see, look here, if I click save, that blue button, look at the very top here. 
uh, it is not a published forum. Okay, so if I click this button, now that green means it is a published forum. So that's another way to go about that too. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and unpublish that just for uh, our purposes today. And then let's see. So back in our discussions, once you add something new, it will just be added to this list, okay? And students and parents can access those just by clicking discussions here. If you need to create something brand new, just like an announcement, you would click this plus discussion button to start from scratch, okay? So the last thing I wanna share with you for communication is the Canvas inbox which is actually located in the global navigation here. Uh, by clicking inbox, it's, it's kind of like an email, um, but there are handy tools to communicate with a lot of people at one time. So in this uh, inbox, we can create a new message by clicking this pencil and paper button. And once you do that, you can have a drop-down menu based on courses in which you are a room parent and those will show up in your favorites. So here is kindergarten with Ms. Cash. Once you click on that course, that course is selected. And then in the to field, if we click this address book, take a look what happens. There's a lot of different options here. For example, you can click on teachers to see who the teachers are and to select Ms. Cash, for example, to write a message to or we can click on students and see the students enrolled in the class and select who we want to send it to, or maybe just all students, okay? Or you can look at the different observers, which would be the parent observers in this class. And again, you can select all, or you can select individuals if you need to do something to just one or two parents, that's perfectly fine as well. And then below here, you would just be able to compose your normal email, your normal message as you would. Uh, you can attach a file down here as well. Uh, I will note that embedding a hyperlink does not work well here at all. Um, I, I would rather, um, I would suggest you use the announcements for embedding a hyperlink, which I'll show you how to do in just a moment. And um, because here, the, it's just a simple text editor, it would not show up properly, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that. I don't wanna send it to anybody. Okay, so I'm gonna hop back to the course because I neglected to share with you how to create a hyperlink in announcement. And that's important uh, as you might need to do some links now and again. So I'm back in announcements. This will just take a moment. I'm creating a new announcement. This is a good review. And so let's say I want to do a hyperlink uh, to just LBUSD, why not? So once you get to the website you want, of course, you can always just copy and paste in that HTML. And then immediately after you copy paste, if you hit the space bar, Canvas will turn it blue. That means it's turned into a link now. And that's wonderful. That's, that's perfectly fine. Uh, if you prefer, you can do a more descriptive link. So you could do some, you could type up something like LBUSD uh, web site and then we will select that text and then I'm gonna I'm gonna click this button right here that looks like a, a chain link uh, which is linked to URL when we click on that this box appears and we can paste in that same link lbschools.net insert link and now that text has become a link to the same place so again either one will get you there it's really just a matter of personal preference all right, so the last two things. When I am in a course and I click on people, I am gonna leave this page, I click on people. You have a list of students, 
teachers, parents, observers, they're all here. The good news is, is that we can filter through by clicking on this drop down menu. And we can just view the students. We can just view observers, for example. This can also help, and it shows who is observing who. This can also help room parents uh, better gauge what parents they might want to reach out to to encourage them to become an observer in your child's class. Okay, so you can you can view that information here, and you can reach out to individual parents to get them signed up as an observer. All right, last but certainly not least, as questions, troubles, issues arise, I encourage you to use the Global Navigation Help button. And when we click on that Help button, the Canvas Guides actually prove to be a very reliable resource. If you have a question or if you're stuck on how to embed a video into an announcement, maybe you forget, that's okay, it happens. Search the Canvas Guides and most likely the answer will be there. Uh, so I strongly encourage you to check that out. Also, there are very helpful COVID-19 Canvas resources. Clicking on this does uh, take us to resources for instructors, but also for students and for parents. So this is a good thing to consider sharing with the class or with the parent observers in your class. Uh, if a lot of them need to sign up, here's the how-to guide right there. Okay, so with that being said, thank you for tuning in. I hope this proves helpful and I wish you all the best with your room parent job and uh, your Canvas classes. Thanks for watching.